Mm-hmm. There, there's fans they pay attention to numbers and all that because they in it, trying to figure out like who scored the most points in the game and stuff like that. But I'm not gonna take that away from a talented person. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about flop culture in the music industry, aka an artist flop era. And without much further ado, let's get right into today's video. So it seems like fans tend to say that artists are in their flop eras because of like the stats and the numbers and i have four artists i'm going to be focusing on in today's video first starting with saweetie Sawili was trending after her latest release the single life reportedly sold only 2000 units the ep featured five tunes including don't say nothing boss chick p-u-s-s-y handle my truth memorable and no reception sadly the ep wasn't as well received as sawidi would have liked or expected while some weren't just feeling the music many others were blaming it on her team for dropping the ball on the project then there was a debate over whether or not sawidi was being disrespectful by firing shots at quavo on the ep while he was mourning the tragic passing of his nephew takeoff sony digital reacted to the super low sales by tweeting quote 13 million followers, hundreds of thousands of likes on all pictures, but the album sold less than 2,000 copies. That's crazy. The math ain't adding up. DJ Vlad joined the convo writing quote, If Sawidi did a Vlad TV interview, she would have easily done 10k in first week sales, which was 2,000 copies. We have already actually reached out through one of our people and were told she won't do Vlad. Her loss. So Woody responded to Vlad denying it was her or her team who turned down the interview saying quote, Actually, I've been a big fan and have screen recorded my favorite episode. She added, so if anyone reached out, it wasn't to me or my team. DJ Vlad, happy Thanksgiving. Hitmaker chimed in on the convo to share his own two cents, saying, quote, So Woody selling 2K is bad A and R vibes. Someone's supposed to tell you this ain't it. I also have issues with her having multiple platinum singles and not sticking with the same formula that got her here. Someone should get fired. Despite her massive fan base and social media presence, Chloe Bailey's album did not perform well on the charts. According to chart data, in pieces debut at 119 on the Billboard 200, the main chart for album in the United States. The album only sold 10,000 copies in its first week, a disappointing number for such a hyped up project. Many people were shocked by the low sales of In Pieces as they expected Chloe to sell more based on how popular and well known she is. It also seems that social media popularity does not always translate to people actually buying the music from the artist. This is not the first time that a social media star has flopped on the charts. 777 is the second studio album by American rapper and singer Lato. It was released through RCA Records and Stream Courts on March 25, 2022. The album features guest appearances from 21 Savage, Lil Wayne, Childish Gambino, Lil Durk, Nardo Wick, and Kodak Black. It serves as a follow-up to her debut album, Queen of the South. In an interview with Complex, Lato said she was experimenting with various sounds and genres on the album to showcase her versatility, including pop, R&B, trap, and rhythmic vibes. She said that she had been working on it right after her previous album, Queen of the South. Naturally, attention had turned to the LP's performance. 777 was set to launch with the opening sales of 21,900 streams plus 1,100 in pure sales. With the numbers forecast, 777 is tracking towards a top 20 placement on the Billboard 200, but it never did, and this is why people considered the album a flop. Now, Megan was someone who people loved instantly, and I think the whole Nicki Minaj issue and the Tory Lanez issue also dimmed down her shine and people started to say like she flopped. I don't think Megan flopped. Something for the hoodies, um, Tramazine, good news. Like they had some good like music on them, but like people love to clown and be like, oh no, but Billboard is saying like she sold only like 10k. But oh Billboard is saying like she sold only like 48k in the first week. And sometimes you just have to look past the numbers. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe, share, also check out my other videos that do want to link them down in my description bar and also in the icon of a for your convenience. And as always shall I will see you on the next one.
cheers